So how was that? Because I did see the premiere with Tiny was like pretty much saying that basically they're larger than SWB. How do you feel about that? Oh. I feel amazing. No. <laughs> I feel great. You so thirsty. You'll have to watch the show to see how I feel. <laughs> yes, watch the show. <laughs> I was an angel. What to do, do y'all? This your girl Star J Craziness. And I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, baby, we got another preview or a sneak peek of SWV and Escape Queens of R&B that will be coming out actually tomorrow. And Candy, she just had to be the shit starter. <laughs> she just had to go on ahead and pull that rope. So they're sitting down. And they're, you know, talking over this show, this tour, or what have you. And Candy brings up, you know, basically she wants her group to be the headliner of the show or the tour. And SWV like, huh? What you say? Bring that back? Your your show? Your tour? No, baby. Mm -mm. No, we ain't signed up for that. We either co-headlining or we ain't doing the show. Or the tour. So y'all need to decide what y'all want to do. So here's the scene, and then we're going to come back, y'all. Last tour we did, we were headlining our own tour. So how is this going to go when it comes to billing? I think it needs to be co-headlining. That avoids any feelings, issues. I, I just think it needs to be. You have two legendary R&B groups that should be co-headlining to keep it moving. Well, it's collaborative. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but at the same time, like our group, we still feel like we want to still have top billing on our tour. What the hell is this? On your tour? On your I mean, any tours that we're on. We don't pass. <laughs> this one, this show, we should co-headline. Okay. Girl, do you know who you're talking to? This is SWV. We sold how many records compared to your 7 million? Girl, box. It's really a celebration. It's not a, It's not about egos. It's not about my tour, your tour. It's a celebration of all of us together. Y'all don't want to co-headline? I mean, that wasn't really what we were thinking about doing before. And and, I, and this is not having anything to do with you guys personally. Don't get no, me wrong. No, no, it's no God. disrespect to y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all music and we respect y'all. You know what I mean? But realistically, we have been headlining our shows. Since you came back. Right. As a group. Yeah. Right. It's the big ass major hits. But do they have the fan base or the following that we have? No. People watch me, Candy, on TV doing our thing. Then they find out, oh, these girls sing. So that fan base is millions and millions and millions of followers more. That's fine. And what I'm saying is this is one night. When y'all do your tour, you can headline all day. But for this one night, we need to co-headline. So y'all heard that. Now, Escape, y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all acting like SWV is just some group that just hit the scene and they need some exposure. No ma'am, no sir, no child. They did a lot to contribute to the R&B genre. They got some hits. Rain down on me, so into you. Uh, 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 know what I'm gonna do. Uh, uh, uh. And weak, y'all know y'all need to stop it. Talking about some, we got the fan base. Because me and Candy got the fan base. Because we on reality TV. Girl, now Tiny, you know you... Now you know you're wrong. Because just because I watch your show on TV don't mean I'm coming to your concert. That's two totally different audiences. Hey, but you might got some people that, you know, freak with you on your TV show, showing you some love. And, you know, people freak with you with the music. But sometimes it don't work like that. When I tell you social media went crazy, they went crazy. We got the fact checkers and we got the data collectors. And they was definitely giving what need to be gave in them comments. They was like, people was on SWV side. And then you had Escape fans coming over here on this side. And then you got the middle people like me. They both got hits. They both can bring in the crowd. So let it just go ahead and let it be what it be. And let them both headline. So it could be a co headline show one show on um, one group shouldn't be like oh okay we need the headline because we girl girl so like i said we got the fat checkers and we got the data collectors so who has sold more records between swv and escape so according to riaa which stands for recording industry association of america 
SWV has sold over 11.5 million albums throughout their time as a group. However, the group claims to have sold 30 million records. Although proof of this figure hasn't been provided for Escape, they have sold 9 million albums. But at the end of the day, we just want to hear these hits from you guys. And we want to just, you know, jam. Hey, hey, because the music we got out here now, that's another day for another topic. So let's look at some of these comments people were saying about this whole debate on who should be headlining this tour show or hell if it even gonna happen we don't know one person said escape is a regional group that only had like one song that made it out of the south if you lived in the northeast you heard a lot of total yeah i miss with total and swv were actually popular across the country the group gets all this now because of tiny and candy doing reality tv see this is why i have a problem with candy this is not an escape tour so to say you need to headline is bs go back on tour alone oh wait it's only three of y'all go <laughs> oh boy these people be so shady in the comments co-headline and be a damn adult about it oh my child uh another person said and like the whole thing with swv is that they tour consistently so if anything escape should be considered the guess since they could came out the woodworks every five years well i be damn candy is more love for her personality on real housewives of atlanta than her voice in escape Real Housewives of Atlanta really put her on the map. SWV is known strictly for their music, and that's why this won't work. If Candy fights for the top billing for a TV show, then she might got something. SWV is more critically acclaimed than Escape, in my mind, plus more hits. However, I'm not mad at Candy for fighting for a top billing spot. Hello, we're talking about a business genius here. Yes, I mean, we all got to get that money. And being a headline, headliner of a concert or, you know, on a tour and stuff like that. Yes, they get they get paid because they're supposed to bring in the people, the fans. One Another person said, all of SWV hits were as lead act and not featured. Also, Weekend right here. Yeah, that was my other jam right here. Mm be right here were far bigger than anything escape release and swv's debut outsold escape's entire discography that's the difference well damn okay i love that coco and taj weren't going to allow candy to try to downplay them to me swv has more hits than escape instead of candy talking about which group should headline she needs to be Worried about making sure all her group members, <laughs> oh, all her group members would be there to perform, aka Latasha, because you know she will not do. It. And did y'all see? I'm gonna have to put the clip in the um comment section below. Latasha didn't say a damn thing. She looking like another deer in the headlights, and just like, well, sh that's y'all problem, because I'm gonna be a solo dolo. Y'all just don't know that. But uh, um, this last comment said, SWV hasn't headlined a tour since 2013, and they wouldn't even be on TV if it weren't for Candy Bravo Connection coupled with Tiny TV Connect. So let's be real. Well, hot damn. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next one. Be breezy.